Ah, hell no! What's up, my cool dudes? I'm Dolan, dude, and welcome back to my PLC Team Builder series. This week, we are building a... T I'm showing off the team I'm going to use in my upcoming week for battle against Chris Pitt. Oh, yeah, I can Pitt's gaming and his Toronto Blue Flares. Now, I'm sorry this is, like, a couple of weeks late, but we had some issues with stuff going on. People need to more time to prep for battles. So week three ended up being two weeks instead of one. Anyway, we are back on track with week four of the PLC. As I said, I'm versing Chris and the Blue Flares this week. And they are rocking a very scary draft and I forgot to get it up, so I'll be right back. Honestly, okay, I'm back. And honestly, Chris has a scary, scary team. A very, very scary team. He's got Katana, Quagsire, Gengar as a Z-Crystal mod. Turtonator, Guzzlord, Swello, Lantern, Celesteela, him on top, Gligar, and Roselia. Now, he's got three Ultra Beasts on the team, on his team, which is kind of scary. Because he's got that bulk in Katana, and then he's got that huge, I mean, in Celesteela. Then he's got that huge offensive presence in Katana and um, Guzzlord. Not to mention his other, his draft is, most of his draft is very bulky and can tank, tank a couple of hits. So that is really, oh no, not Gligar, sorry, this one's out there. He has normal golem. He has a normal golem, that's right. But anyway, yeah. Looking at his team, I definitely think he's going to bring the Katana, the Celesteel. I'm not sure about the Guzzlord. I definitely know he's probably going to bring the Gengar. So Katana, Celesteel, Gengar, I guess Turtonator, and I guess... Uh, wouldn't say Golem, I'd probably say Lantern and Swello. I mean, he could bring the Golem for bulk, so... Yeah, you could bring the Golem for bulk, or you could go physically defensive Turtonator, which is not as bad as it sounds. Turtonator's got so much physical defense. So I think, though it's so frail on the special side, I should know I've used a Turtonator before. Well, uh, it wasn't like Showdown OTR, RTR or something, but anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that the team we are bringing against um, the Toronto Blue Flares. So first up, we have Jenny the Arcanine. Jenny has been on all of my teams since week one. It's Arcanine is just such a versatile Pokemon. It can be fit, it can be defensive, it can be offensive, it can be a wall break if you really need. Rocking the this week, we're rocking a physically defensive set that's a bit interesting. Not go, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Stealthy helped me with a bit of the preparation. I did the rest of myself. But for Moose, we are rocking, I mean, for Iron, we are rocking Leftovers with the ability to intimidate. Then for Moose, we got Willow with Morning Sun, Flamethrower, and Extreme Speed. Now, the thought process behind this move set is that with um, Cell Seal, is most likely going to be physically defensive. So, I don't want to run Flare Blitz, so, because otherwise I'll just be KOing myself virtually. So we figured flamethrower can we can get fire off a of flamethrower, and he's not none of his Pokemon, or most of his Pokemon are on the physical side of defense anyway. So even if they resist, they are not going to appreciate a flamethrower. Then extreme sp speed is just there for the priority. Look, Willow with the burn things, Morning Sun for just that bit of longev longevity. Then for EV spread, we got max HP, max defense, rocking a bold nature with four special defense. Next up, we have Maddie the Lycan Rock, rocking we choice scarf set with steadfast, rock slide, fire fang, crunch, and the cell rock. Just the standard speed speed investment, just a standard jolly choice scarf. That's what I'm trying to say. But reason for this is that Swello is a pain. Um, Katana is a pain. So with this, so with this set here, if Swallow and Katana are on choice guard, we can outspeed them. <clears throat> if we're on against Swallow, we can just go for a rock slide and a one shot. If we're on sell on Katana, we can just fire fang. We're free to fire fang. Honestly, then Crunch is just to 
I mean, Gengar goes down to a rock slide, but it's just to hit it on the super effective side if we need to come in. It's not that bad of an option either. We really wouldn't have had another move. There wasn't another move to go with anyway, so... Crunch is just, was just there in case we needed a neutral hit. Let's face it, we go in against Katana. Rock Slide's probably still... Yeah, Rock Slide's the bet. Um, against Quagsire. Crunch would be a better move to go for than Rock Slide. So just for those when Rock Slide won't do its job, really. Next up, we are bringing Taco Bell with the Lefto. But it's still rocking the levitate because we don't want because we don't want to hit be hit by those earthquakes because let's face it they are deadly. But most we are rocking still stealth rock toxic gyro ball and earthquake with a specially defensive uh, bronze on this week with assassinate max special defense max HP for an attack. Um, set uh, what was the logic behind this? Set? Stealth Rock's just to break sashes, that's, that's all it really is. Toxic, so we can so hopefully get it up on Pokemon such as Quagsire, Quagsire and um, Lantern, because they're going to be a pain in Terminator. Because if they're defensive, they are going to be a pain in the butt to take down. Gyro just for main stab, especially if we have to use it on like something like Swallow or Gengar, it is going to do a phenomenal amount of damage. And then Earthquake just for that bit of coverage. I mean, Gengar gets sh Shadow Tag now, so we don't have to worry about the Levitate anymore, which I guess is, which is a good thing. Next up, we are rocking Australian the Kamala. Australian is back. With the same set as last week, I'm just going to make this one brief. Assault Fest, Comatose, Rapid Spin, Return, Earthquake, and U-Turn, Max HP, Max Attack for Special Defense. It's just real. It's just the same set I've been running the last couple of weeks, just because it is, it's just all I've been needing off Kamala, really. Honestly, Kamala can just take up, take out so many different Pokemon. It is just amazing. Earthquake, once again, for the Gengar, U-Turn. And it, since Gengar sees Zemon, hopefully we can actually switch in on the Z, predict the Z-Move, switch in Kamala, and just render that Z-Move null and void if it's Ghosty and Z. Which, I mean, Gengar's versatile, so he could run something like Fighting MZ with um, all out, with his Focus Blast for an all-out pummeling. Um, I can see Giga... I don't think Giga Volt Havoc would be happening, but it's just... Something he can do. He could. I mean, if he somehow gets a, a, all the way transfer from um, down there, he can have run Giga Drain and run the Bloom Doom if he really wanted. But I don't see why he would. It's just something to go on. Next up, we have our own Z Crystal Mon Sparky the Alola Raichu, rocking Psychic um, Z with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, and Psychic. Honestly, I calced it, and um, Grass Knot is a one-shot on the Quagsire. I'm not sure if he'll be run. He could run Specially Defensive, which, in that case, it throws out all my calculations. Like, all my calculations just go out the window. I'm not sure what he would be doing with that. Well, it does get unaware, so... Psyche MZ, I decided to go with this, because he does... Even though he... Has the Guzzlord, um, I'd rather get super effective damage off on the Gengar if I can. Psychic's a one-shot anyway, but he has that Quagsire, so Quagsire is probably the main pain, is probably the main one I want to use the Psychic Z on, because otherwise I'm not going to be, if I can't land a Thunderbolt on it, Psychic Z. I'm gonna go for the grass knot, but uh, what? Well, no, that wasn't right. Psyche, I think Psyche Z was j just. Be oh yeah, Lantern have Vol can get Volt Absorb. That was my thought process for Psyche Z this week. Jeez, how did I forget that? And besides, it hits the hip on top. It hits the Roselia, hits the Gengar for super effective damage. So we're not losing anything by having that to go on. <sighs> Don't think I covered Eevee Spray, but it's just the same as. Last week, max spe same every week. Special attack, max special attack, max speed with intimidate nature, foreign special defense. 
And finally, our final Pokemon is Fairy Floss rocking the Babiri Berry. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Babiri Berry does, the Babiri Berry halves damage taken from Super Impact to Steel type attack. So my thought process was this, with this is that you can see the HP fire here, right? So my thought process is uh, I can uh, deliver a Smart Strike from Katana and then just fire off the HP fire. That that was my plan with this set. That was my legit plan with this set. <sighs> Honestly, it, I hope it. I really hope it works. Pixelate is just here because Pixelate Hyper Voice. Not even a not even a Cell Stealer wants to take it, any of them because it's just so damn powerful. Not even Cell Stealer or Wish to take it. Speaking of which, we run Wish just for a bit of HP recovery. In power fire, just as I said for the katana. And then we are rocking Psy Shock just so we can hit the mons like the um uh what's it called hit on top. So we can hit mons like hit on top so we can in case um hyper in case hyper voice or HP fire aren't gonna do any thing because let's face it, when hyper voice does neutral to guz um to um Tertinator. Sorry. So that's my process with the hyper voice. We could go for the psy shock. Actually, that's probably not the best move to go with. But honestly, I don't know. We're have, I'm having a battle pretty soon. So anyway, look at the EV spread. We have max HP, max special attack, for special defense with a modest nature. Just a standard tra Sylveon trying to sweep. That's all it is. That's all it needs to be. But anyway, guys, this is my this is my week fourteen for the PLC. If you guys enjoyed this video, could you please show your appreciation by smashing that like button down below? And I will catch you guys when the battle begins.